Hello everybody, uh, this is a quick overview of the work holding that I make for the Pocket NC 5-axis desktop milling machine. Uh, I've got two types of work holding on display, or two fixture plates rather. One is the single, what I call the single vice or single clamp fixture plate, and this is the multi-clamp or multi-vice fixture plate. As the name suggests, um, this single vice version allows you to use a single vise to clamp a piece of stock. So this is a clamping element, this is a locator element. The fixture plate has teeth on it and these line up with teeth on the base of the clamp and the locator element. So you can basically move these forward and backwards to accommodate different pieces of stock. Uh, I've got two what I call supports, they're just 3D printed pieces of plastic which slot into these grooves like so and what they do is basically stop a piece of stock just scuffing up your fixture plate so in order to clamp apart you kind of line up your piece of stock depending on how big it is you may not want it centrally but I'll just you put it centrally you may want it over to one side but line it up like so the first thing you do is get your locator element and put that roughly in position so yeah, that's going to hold the stock centrally. Then you get a T-nut, which then goes into the groove here like this. Prod it under the locator, like so. Get your countersunk screw, pop it in there. So as you tighten, it brings the T-nut up and that clamps it in that groove. So, like so. So that locator now will not move. Then get your piece of stock and do the same again to line up the vise, the clamping element. Move that out slightly. So you want to position it just slightly away from your stock. Get your T-nut. Do the same again, pop it in. Move it forward like so. This time you have a slightly smaller countersunk screw. That one's 16 millimeters long. This is 14 millimeters long for the um, for the clamping element. Tighten it down. You don't need to absolutely crank on it. But as you can see that is going absolutely nowhere. Um, the steel locator jaw and the steel clamping jaw uh, both have teeth on them so those actually bite into the stock and that's what gives you the grip. Um, they will leave tiny little pinprint marks in your stock, um, whether it's aluminium like this or plastic or whatever, but they don't leave massive indents, but that's what allows them to grip so firmly. So I'll undo, actually I'll just leave that, put it over there and demonstrate the multi-clamping plate now. Um, I should probably just mention quickly that the, these locate onto your pocket NCB table using these 1 8 inch dowel pins, so you just pop them in there like that. There's four holes, there's four on the single clamp as well. Put them in, screw them down so you can see where the countersunk screws go, which um, you use M4 screws, which I, I supply all these things with the plate, you don't need to think about any of this. Um, screw it down and then remove these, and that's it held firmly on your table. So I'll pop those out of the way over there. So the multi-clamping plate, as the name suggests, allows you to, do multiple, uh, to use multiple clamps at any given time. Um, it's a bit more expensive, um, it's also a bit bulkier, so you see you have these rail elements which the clamps and the locators sit on top of, like that, which means that it sits higher up than on the single vice version, um, but it does give you that increased flexibility, so it's up to you. Obviously you could buy both and use the locators on these rails and then use them on the single clamp version, it depends what you want to do. So I'm about to demo with four clamps. I'll show you quickly how that would work. So, so long as these fit within this circumference, they're fine. Um, if they sit outside like that, then you'll have a collision, is basically the rule. Because uh, what I've done is left two millimeters clearance on the outside of this, this circumference of this, um, this circular plate. Um, so anything overhanging when the t table spins like that could hit the, uh, the edge of the pocket NC's B table. So, so long as it fits within, you're fine. 
So you could just use it in the same way you use a single clamp plate, like that, just have two elements, move them forward and backwards. And what you do is you tighten it down. Each rail, as I call them, has four countersunk holes in the bottom, and you put M these M3 screws down through them, they're countersunk, so as the countersunk is tightened, it lines up with these countersinks, and that will, that's what these just basically work their way into position. Um, so it allows you to position them accurately. You'll see that there's these holes on the plate. There's actually 233 of these M3 threaded holes, so that's how many positions there are for the screws to, to locate into. You'll see that those these holes, are, sometimes it will go over the top of that, in which case you can't use all four holes, you just use three, because that front one, in this example, that front one couldn't be used. But three is more than enough. Two would actually probably be fine. Um, to hold these in place because you're not using massive cutting tools with huge amounts of torque on the pocket NC. So that's that. The exact same principle as with the single plate. You've got the T-slot in the uh, in the rail. So once it's tightened out, down, um, put your T-nut in and put your locator or your clamping element on top and then hold it like so. So this is really good for say like a long thin piece of stock like this. So what you could do is position these out wide like that and have two out wide like this. I've not really lined those up properly but you get the idea. Um, and that means you're not holding it in the middle and you're not going to get a lot of resonance when you're out cutting the, the edge and chatter which therefore damages your tool so you get really good support and really good clamping force. It's also good say you've got a square piece of stock you could have two elements like that, two elements like that so you're clamping from the sides Again, gives you lots of rigidity and a really good holding force. Um, so that's the advantage of this. You could also use this plate in a different way. So you could get rid of my clamping elements and you could make your own. So you can just use this as a base almost. Say, um, say you've got like a flat, really, really thin piece of um, metal that you want to engrave. Say make like a sign of some sort. Um, a common way of doing that is just putting it on straight onto the, the fixture plate and then um, making your own little kind of hold down clamps so you'll just tighten them in like this and as you and they just hold on to the edges like so um, to hold it firmly in position so it gives you a lot of flexibility with that you can make your own work holdings around it and so on um, and it's a bit of a platform for other other types of work holding um, and that's it so if you've got any questions obviously don't hesitate to get in touch um, and thank you for watching I know Oh, I should quickly add that there's the soft draw elements as well. So, soft draw, this is a soft locator. So, as you can see, it's just got this big lump of metal on the front. Unlike, whereas this is steel, the gripper jaw, this is aluminium, so easy for you to machine into. They just come supplied as a whole, so you use it exactly the same way, and then you machine whatever shape you want in the, in the front. So, it's useful for second ops, or useful for, say, you're cutting a circular part. So you could cut a semicircle in the front there and then that, that, that allows you to hold a circular piece of stock. Um, so that's the locator element. Um, the vice element, you'll just need to take off the O-rings on the sides here, um, take out the steel gripper jaw, then you see you've got the things on the side of this soft jaw, vice soft jaw for the uh, O-rings to locate on. So you just swap it in, put the O-rings back on. It's the work of 30 seconds to change them in and out. Um, so those are available on the website as well. Uh, and that's that. Thank you very much.